Hello, 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 hello. I'm your host, man, we're going to get right to this one, man. I'm your host, Shy Time Neil. Today, we're going to be talking about Brock Purdy and Patrick Mahomes. But anyway, man, to my left is my boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, my, my partner, <laughs> my boy, man, I like to call him um, Uncle Bill when he cooking, you know, them, them good brisket for the family. Right. You know, when he gambling a little bit, I call him Billy Woo Woo. But when he in the studio, I call him BTB. What's that for? Bowtie Bill. Bowtie Bill, my man. Let's get it in, baby. I let's got a good one for you today. Man, we're getting started up here in the North uh, in the Dallas studio, Maximize Your Potential studio. Before we get started and get to the show, Bowtie Bill, go ahead and handle that business I need you to do, baby. Man, hit the subscribe button, the like button. We appreciate everything that you're doing, family. Uh, you know, we need your support. You know, send it to your group threads, to your family members, to your friends, to the ones that you like, as well as the ones you don't like. We appreciate it all. All right. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. So, Bowtie Bow Bill, today I got a question for you, man. Okay. This is Super Bowl week, so we're going to stay on Super Bowl title. That's what everybody want to hear. Super Bowl, <laughs> Super Bowl, Super Bowl, Super Bowl, Super Bowl. That's what everybody want to hear, okay? All right. Let's get it's the second. It's the second largest event uh, next to the presidential vote. That is true. Yes. That is true. And I care them this year probably more about the Super Bowl. I hate to say it. <laughs> I know I got to vote. I don't want nobody like, man, Shot Town New, you ain't going for your album, folks, man. I don't, yeah. I don't even want to think about that right now. We got to talk about the Super Bowl. We're trying to stay in a good mood. It's depressing this time. It's, we, we, we might, you know, people be asking us, y'all going to just only talk about sports? I know y'all. I know y'all can talk. People, our true friends know we have a wide range of topics we can talk about. We've been keeping on sports, but. Maybe one day we might talk about politics. I don't know. We might lose half our subscribers. But anyway, because, <laughs> man, we, we, pretty, we pretty knowledgeable when it comes to that, too. But anyway. Yeah, let's do it. So, Bill, yes, I was sir. thinking, you know, me and you, we both thinking that KC is going to win the Super Bowl, right? Agreed. All right. But then I started thinking, you know, because you know me. I like to play devil's advocate. You know, I love that. You know me. I love to play devil's advocate. So then I started playing devil's advocate to me and you. Okay. All right. So that's what I was thinking. Like, you know what? If Purdy was to actually win this Super Bowl, and then I'm going to stop, and I'm going to let you know what my question is. History-wise, who do you think this is more important for? Patrick Mahomes or Purdy? History-wise. Oh, history-wise, Patrick Mahomes. Because you think on, so? Yeah, because okay. he's on that goat chase. Okay. All History right. wise. Now, granted, there has never been a Mr. Irrelevant quarterback right, to uh be in the Super Bowl and to win one. You see so where I'm that, going that with this. You see where I'm going with this. Yeah. You that see where I'm going with this. Yeah. History wise, though. I say history wise. But history wise, okay. Patrick Mahomes about to chase down that goat. And if he wins. Okay, now we got a big disagreement. Let's get ready to rumble. Ding, 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 ding. I'm going to prove our Billy ass is wrong to that mother sucker. And why your boy Shot town Neal is always right. They call me the guru. This boy don't know nothing. All right, I'm going to prove that you don't know nothing. You don't know. You don't know shit. Excuse my okay. language. All right, you got the floor first. You crazy, man. Dad. No, this means more to Purdy history. While I'm telling you, Playboy, I started thinking about it, man. I'm going to let you finish up, get some more off your chest. I started thinking about it, bro. Okay, and tell I was me. Like, okay, you going to let me how to? Okay. Uh -huh, yeah. All right, so I started thinking about Read the bitch. answer, bro. Okay. You said it's okay. on your chest. Yeah, that's what I was thinking <laughs> about. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we have a billionism. We got a billionism. Okay, it's not a cold, you motherfucker. You anyway. So, this what I was thinking, Bowtie. Okay, man. real talk. Yo, yes sir, yes sir. Real talk, Bowtie. He did go to playoff last year. I'm talking about Purdy because you know both of these sure. boys been in the playoff. Okay, and Purdy started out seven and no eight and I forgot maybe nine and no. And truth be told, we'll never know. But it is what it is. Philly put him out the game early. He did not finish that game. It would have been different if he played like the first three quarters, looked like trash. We can kind of say, but it really wasn't making a difference. You can your ass kick. Excuse my language. No, I think they knocked him out like for the first or second drive. Second drive. Yeah, he wasn't. He, I know he didn't make it halfway through the first quarter. No, no, he didn't. Yeah, he put them hands on that boy. You know what I'm saying? So and the backup quarterback. Right, but I'm just talking about. We're just only talking we're about party right now. Yeah, no, yeah. So right. I could kind of feel how Philly all year was kind of like. Man, we really think we're better in Philly. And that's why they took that game so personal when they people. played Philly in Philly. And when they once they slapped Philly, everybody was like, oh, 
So the bully can be slapped. Then after that, everybody starts slapping. <laughs> everybody starts slapping Philly. Everybody. Like, y'all, mother, mother, y'all ain't shit. Ooh. Yeah, once Philly slapped the everybody. <laughs> man, everybody. yeah, yeah, everybody starts slapping their ass. Like, what? Man, you ain't shit. You punk ass. Man. You know, the bully, you um, see the bully get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I know you don't curse. I know you don't curse. <laughs> but, man. Not all that, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, they yeah. About to start running train. <laughs> they ran a train on the dog. <laughs> Yeah, I know Philly fans. Hey, man, we got a lot of Philly fans yeah, that watch this too. too. Yeah, I didn't mean, mean to tell you about that. Uh, anyway, yeah, I know they're going to oh, be mad. Yeah, like, man. Oh, yeah, hey, if y'all can laugh at the cowboy jokes, Philly, y'all got to laugh. We make fun of everybody. We equal opportunity. We talking about them sorry ass bears and stuff. So don't cheat. Don't, don't be hating. But, Billy, anyway, let me say this real oh, quick, man, though. Funny, Shouts man. out to the Philly fans. Do you know yes. Dallas is number one that follow us? Of course, Frisco, because we live in Frisco. That's part of Dallas. Right. The third, I was looking at the analytics. Okay. The third city that watched our podcast the most is Philly. Wow. I was like, how the hell we tap into that market? But thank y'all. We got a lot of people in Philly that Three watch Three countries, it. right? North yeah, America, yeah, well, South America. We, yeah, well, that too. I ain't even got to the countries yet. Yeah, but, Canada. But in America, but you're right. Canada. South uh, America. South America. So it's been growing, but United thank States, But we yeah. can see on YouTube, like, what city. But Philly is the third and then we got, uh, I, I, I meant to write them all down. It's like nine major cities. I know two was in the Midwest. Uh, of course, got people from Chicago, people from my Dallas, family. Dallas, Houston. And, uh, yeah, Houston was four. Houston was four, but Philly was three. Yeah, Houston was four. Thank you very much. Mm-hmm. Then there was a couple of cities on the West Coast. But anyway, getting back to Philly, getting the train ran on. <laughs> 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 they might not be watching no more. <laughs> anyway, oh god, let me get serious. Let me get serious. Oh, but after they got smacked around, <laughs> you can check. Oh, let me let me get back to the block party. Okay. Yeah, okay, man. Right. Nah, we didn't. We right. going down a rabbit hole. We in trouble. <laughs> we went down a rabbit go hole. Ahead, go ahead. Okay. All right. <laughs> so once um once they did that, uh they they wanted that game back. So I started thinking. I'm like, wait a minute. If Purdy wins this game. He's kind of on the. Uh, you want to do a mic check? Go ahead, man. No, 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 no. Okay, we good. We good. Uh, we good. good. Okay. We good. If Purdy wins this game, this could be altering, changing because think about this, Bo Tabu. You know, she get the close up. He would have went through the NFC Championship two years in a row. Right. I mean, come on now, and he would have won a Super Bowl. Better than Burrow. Right, and it kind of sound kind of Mahonish. Mahone went to his Super Bowl in his second year, and he won. And he went to, to you know, to his first two times, AFC Championship game. So I started thinking about it, and I'm like, wait a minute. This game, to me, is bigger for party than Mahone because you got people like myself and you already calling the GOAT. So we already call him the GOAT. If he lose, what are we going to say? He ain't the GOAT? I still can say he the GOAT, even if he loses his game. And because he, he's got so much more time on the table. So we just don't see Mahomes possibly falling off. But if Purdy win, Purdy can be like, yo, bro, every, league, every year I've been in the league, I go to the NFC Championship game. What are we talking about? What the fuck are we talking about? And you can't deny that. These but, are facts. You can't argue with facts, Billy. You know how I feel about facts. Here's the difference, man. All right, go ahead. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Here's the difference. He has seven all pros on his team. Okay. okay. So he has a team around him. Facts. Patrick Mahomes, they had the most drops. Facts. I mean, he it's a quarterback league. In the event that uh, uh, Purdy does not win, what's the likelihood of him going back? Because they're going to have to pay him. Mm-hmm. Right. They're not going to be able to pay Yahoo. Okay. Right? They got a, a Warner contract that's coming up. Okay. Greenlaw contract's coming up. Javarius Ward contract's coming up. They got an all pro safety who got injured. Mm-hmm. So, uh, all, the, so, so, number 29. So, uh, two, I can't think of his name. Right, right. Number 29. I can't, I can't he, think of his name. He, he had but, played the whole playoff, but he a beast. Yeah. Go yeah, ahead. yeah, yeah. All pro. Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> they're going to have to pay Purdy. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's not guaranteed that they're going to go back with Purdy. You know Mahomes going back because that's who he is. Okay. 
Okay, it's not. I mean, it's not, it's not like passing out M and M's. No, it definitely ain't passing out M and M's. But I, I know you got the floor, but I'm about to destroy you though. But go okay, ahead. Okay, okay. It's not guaranteed. Man, no, Pert is not Patrick Mahomes. I didn't say that. That's not what he, I said. His trajectory is not Patrick Mahomes. Trajectory. The question I asked was, who does this game mean more to history wise? You know, I'm telling you, Patrick Mahomes more than Purdy. But you already call him the goat, right? Yeah, man. So if he's already the GOAT, this won't change nothing for you history Why You're going to still look at him saying. That is true. Got your ass. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. You already, see, you can, see, it was a trick question. You can no, stuck on, like, question. you kind of sticking on who's better. Well, I know, to me, personally, Mahomes better right now. I ask you, to in this game. History. Who could this possibly change their history and how we look at them in the future? And it, to me, it's not even close. It's Purdy. Now, what I will do is I will go down that rabbit hole that you okay. just put down, mm -hmm. and I'm going to say, yeah, you can say, yeah, look at all the talent he has. All that is mm -hmm. factual. You're right. He has a lot of talent around him. Seven All-Pros. Seven All-Pros. A lot of those guys were not All-Pros, though, uh, when um, Jimmy G was there. They kind of grew with Jimmy G became All-Pros. My point is that, there has been other quarterbacks in this system, Trey Lance, with all this talent, and they often still didn't look like this. So I get kind of tired of when everybody's like, oh, it's the system, look at all this talent. There have been other quarterbacks in this system in the last three years, and guess what? They did not look like this. Now, do I think some of it is system? Yeah, it is. But I also think Purdy is also very key. Especially when yes. I saw in that Detroit game, a lot of them played. He was getting flushed out the pocket. There was off schedule throws. If you don't know what off schedule throws means, it was like not that drop back one, two, three, let the ball rip. We talking about drop back. Oh, I got a guy coming to bust me in my head. Let me spin. And now we're not. That play is now gone. We're playing backyard football. So now I got to lead the defense while somebody's breathing down my throat. Scrabble and, drill. And or a scramble drill, and I got to keep my cool. Oh, by the way, it just so happened to be the NFC Championship game. Okay, so he showed a lot to me. I was like, man, this dude is making some big plays. Now, I, will, I still think Detroit gave that game away, but you still got to also take what's on the plate. Right. And he did, and yes, he, he made did. some great plays. So I just think this game, if you ask me, has a lot to do with, with the future on how we look at Purdy, because now Purdy will be able to say, I've been to two NFC Championship games, and I won a Super Bowl, and oh, by the way, I'm supposed to be Mr. Irrelevant. And not only that, he'll be one of three players to beat Patrick Mahomes. There you go. So history-wise, if you ask me, I just think that this game means, means much, much more, much, much more if you ask me. Do I think he'll be able to pull this off? I don't know if he'll be able to pull it off, but I was just sitting at the house thinking, I was like, you know what? History-wise, this could possibly be a game changer. This could be a game changer. I mean, I, I saw Shannon and certain um, from, uh, um, we call, you know, um, I've, seen, I've seen several players already that play football, already calling Mahomes the GOAT. Some people calling him Baby GOAT. So this man is already – Got that label at 27, 28. 28, uh-huh. So if he just happened to just fall off, then we'd be like, man, I remember them first seven years when when Mahomes came in the league. Woo, even if he fall off, people are going to still talk about them first seven years. Like, that dude was a beast. That dude went to four championships in the first six years. You know, that's, you know, people are going to talk about it. A lot of people still talk about the Buffalo Bills. We're going to talk about history. Cause they went to four Super Bowls in a row. And Bill, they ain't even win. You know what I'm saying? So oh, I said the history aspect of it, this could be something major for Purdy if he wins this game because then he'll say, hey, my first two years, I went to the NFC Championship game and I won the Super Bowl. You can't go – I'm just sorry. You just can't go to two NFC Championship games and it's just a system. I, I, it might be the system, but sooner or later you got to have to start giving the quarterback some credit. Well, not only that, man, but but let's talk about that system real quick, 30-second okay. sec, right, commercial. Ahead. It's the West Coast offense. Mm -hmm. A lot of teams run it. They don't, look like, they don't look like Sean that. They don't look like that. Sean McVay runs it. Right? C. Riordan runs it. Doug mm -hmm. Peterson runs it. Andy Reid runs it. You mm -hmm. know, there's a host of characters, a host of 
teams that run and it don't look this like that. system. <laughs> <laughs> and I know some people might say it's a West Coast system. And people might say it don't look like that. Cause look at the talent they got. Yeah, I got you. But my point is that there's been other people in that system in San Fran with those players. And it still was not rocking and rolling like that. So you're going to have to get Purdy some type of credit. That's all we said. You know, but that system is all over the league. Exactly. And, and some people do actually have talent, you know, and it still don't look like that. So let me ask you this, then. Okay. Since you already, I don't know, so you coming around that this game is history-wise bigger for Purdy than Mahomes. Are you coming around on that? I understand your point, but no. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want yeah. him anymore. I, I, no, I understand your point. Okay, w- which is a valid point. Okay, I just believe that for Patrick, Mah- Patrick Mahomes in that goat conversation with no peers, he has to continue to win a Super Bowl. Now he's three and one, and he's on that trajectory to being the greatest of all time in a short amount of time. Patrick can still lose his game and, and then go back to win four more Super Bowls. So I said this one game is not going to define his history, bro. It's going to – if he wins, it will get him closer to the seven. But this one game, history-wise, is better. It's bigger for Purdy. You know, I, I don't care how you try to spin it. This one game is bigger for Purdy. He, ha- he loses the game. He has a caveat. Okay. He's missing relevant. That's a major caveat, too. Yeah, yeah, but that's a caveat because people – well, man, he was a seven-round draft pick. He was missing relevant. So, so if he loses, there's a built-in – Case for, well, he was seven round draft pick anyway. Okay, he won a first round draft pick. Got you right. So he has a built in caveat. All right, I mean to a certain extent, I wouldn't go that deep. I mean you're right, but I mean Tom Brady was in sixth round and they they beat that up the first Super Bowl, maybe second Super Bowl. Came, but after he won that Super Bowl, they wasn't even bringing that up no more because they was like, okay, this dude is just what that is. He's just that good. We effed up. We overlooked this dude. He's just that good. But I think they will beat that to death if he wins this one. Yeah, you're right. And if he wins a second one, by the time he wins a second one, then they let it go. But history-wise, if you ask me, win, lose, or draw, there's nothing else can happen to Mahomes, if you ask me. Unless only way this could change history for worse with Mahomes, if he just goes out there and just, which me and you don't see, just wet the bed, throw three picks, two picks, six, and just the main reason why KC lose, then we might, there well, might be a way to how this game can affect him. But if Mahomes do Mahomes stuff, 225, two touchdowns, you know, 10 yards rushing, and they still lose, it's not going to have no effect on him, how people, how we look at him, bro. 25 or 32. Yeah, anybody, anybody <laughs> going to look at him no different. Everybody going to be like, oh, man, this Purdy kid, he might be the real next deal. We might be looking at, you know, San Fran and KC in the Super Bowl more often. Hell, they just played each other a couple of years ago. You know what I mean? Man, listen, right, right. They put up forty four points. I don't I do not see Brock Purdy when with Spad coming with those exotic blisses, exotic plays. Mm-hmm. Brock Purdy has not seen all of that yet. You're right. So that's why it's gonna be, you know, to your point, I mean, for, for Mr. Relevant to win, it will be phenomenal. That said, it ain't gonna happen. Uh, because he's he, he moving it. He has you are right. I, I don't think it's gonna happen either. I pick KC. But what well, look what you just said. If he was to do it. I'll be phenomenal. And you trying to tell me that wouldn't be major in the history books. Yes, it'd be major in the history books. Mr. Relevant, that defense, going against the baby goat, and oh, by the way, every playoff game that he's ever started and finished, he's never lost. The shit starts sounding good, bro. I'm telling you, I think this game is major for the history books. I think this is major for Purdy, man. Bowtie Bill don't think it, it, he think he think this game is bigger for history for Mahomes. Yes. All right. That's a, that's because a, going from two to two versus three to one. Hmm. Yeah, that's major. Okay. Before you're thirty. Okay, and I understand what you're saying. He's he's trying. He's basically just playing against. If he hits this championship. He's basically just playing against, you know, um, um, Brady Brady and Montana. Okay, that's it. I get it. But even if he loses, uh-huh. he's still 2-2. Two and two. And how many quarterbacks have two Super Bowls? Not many. Not, not many. I mean, you, of course, we know Montana, Terry Bradshaw. Terry Bradshaw. We know Brady. We know John Elway. We know Troy Aikman. Roger Starback. Roger Starback. So he's still 
Come on, only six other guys. We put Bradshaw in there already, right? Yeah, we got, Bradshaw. So he still has two champions, two Super Bowls right now. Only six other people in the world. Quarterbacks. And play football can say that. So he's already in rare air anyway. If I said for history wise, on, yeah, it's, it would take him from there to oh shoot, now you got three. Check it. But history wise, this game is definitely means way more to Purdy. It's not even close yet. Patrick think. Mahomes win the Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. He'll be fifteen and three. I understand. There are only two other uh, 15 quarterbacks. Fifteen three. You talking about in playoffs? In the playoffs. Okay. And so if Purdy wins the game, guess what? He's seven and one. See, you, 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 you so stuck on Patrick, you don't understand the other side of the fence. Yeah. I'm telling you, I'm playing devil's yeah. advocate. Yeah. yeah, everything you're saying is cool, but guess what? My boy's 7-1 now. He'll be 7-1. And he beat the baby goat. Right. What I'm going to say is there are only two other quarterbacks that got 15 playoff wins. That's, I, uh, that's Joe Montana and uh, Tom Brady. Yeah, he's already passed up. Uh, I saw he that, man. He passed everybody, man. Yeah. He yeah, already passed so up uh, Manny. When I saw that, yeah, I was yeah. like, this shit can't be right. Yeah. He already passed up Manny in playoff wins. So. In six years. Yeah, I mean, and so my thing is like this. Just to, just well, to, Purdy ain't no joke, though. Just the fact you said that, you've already, to me, I feel like you're making my point more. We already have him in a certain level already. Mm -hmm. he, he didn't pass. Oh, we forgot to say Peyton Manny. Did we say Peyton Manny? Yeah, two, Peyton. So, uh -huh. two, two. so he's already passed up Peyton Manny. So we already have him in that rare air. We already have him better. You ask the average person, who better, Mahomes or Peyton? Seven out of ten people riding with Peyton. I mean, Mahomes already. So I'm saying, so it, he he really only messing with two more of the guys, you know, out there. You know, Montana and Brady. And to me, I already got him past all of them already. So in my mind, friend, you gotta understand what how I'm thinking. I already has him at the goal. That's what I'm saying. I already I, got him at the go. I understand your point. So since he already at the go, mm -hmm. this game, it matters because he wants to win because he's a competitor. But in my history way of looking at it, he already got a dog on go, and I expect for him to be in more Super Bowls. I mean, hell, what the hell is stopping him? Barring health, you know, and he get, he doesn't get into any off the field things. So long as he keeps, keeps clean, he's like a kid that keeps his nose clean and stay out of trouble. You know, it's like he just be with his wife and kids. That's cool. I have no problem with that, but that's what we're talking about. If he keeps living the same way off the field, and he keeps playing like he is on the field, I expect for this dude to be at least four more Super Bowls. Easy, at, easy, at least four more. And I'm and I'm and I'm setting the bar low. I'm setting the bar low. Now, if you really want me to tell you, how I think I think he's going to probably seven or eight more. Right. Because the dude ain't number twenty eight. And I don't see a gap like the Tom Brady gap went ten years without going to the Super Bowl. I don't see it. I, don't, I just don't see it. Right. You know, people can say, well, I didn't see it with the Tom Brady thing. Yeah, but guess what? Tom Brady first two or three Super Bowls, go look at them stats again. A lot of it was one with, with defense. If, if if Mahomes win this year, this will be his first Super Bowl that bowl that kind of matter you of a Tom Brady is Super Bowl, leaning more on the defense because he doesn't have an offensive weapon. So because I've seen him win so many ways, I already got him as my goal. History wise, I think this could be a game changer if Purdy could somehow pull this off. I'm like, bro. Oh, it'd be great, man. I mean, there are different scripts you can write to this story, to this movie. Absolutely. And, and real quick on 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 Patrick Mahomes. Um, with Patrick Mahomes, he's blowing, you know, like when you watch the Olympics, swimming, for an example, the hundred meters. And they put that line there and it says that he's uh, beyond the world record. Right, right, okay. Right? Yeah. Patrick Mahomes is on that trajectory. <laughs> right? He's on that trajectory. Yeah. So now he doesn't have to play 23 years like Brady did. Why? Because he got like 80 more touchdowns, mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. 7,000 more passing yards. Think about it. I wouldn't say 9,000. I, I wouldn't say 9,000. So let's say 4,500 yards per year. Well, he done knocked off two years. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, so and, and as it keep going, he doesn't have to play twenty three years. He probably played eighteen and break every record that Tom Brady has. Yeah, and that's why I said this one game. That see, I, I just feel like the more you talk, the more you make my point. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I say this I one game. That's why I said I understand not, your point. Yeah, it's not as important history wise. Keep in mind, I don't want KC fans like you crazy. He wants to win. I understand the question. I know Patch. I know Patch wants to win. Okay, do I know him personally? No, but you can tell by the competitiveness and so many things you hear other football players say about him. I'm saying he, the man wants to win. The 
key to the question is, history-wise, who is this game more important for? And everything you just said about how all these yards this man got, you, he's going to continue to keep racking doing them this. Up. Racking them up. This one game means more to Purdy. That's why I stand with it. Bowtie Bill, you saying this one game means more to Mahomes. Yes, I do. All right, man. That's that debate, man. We History-wise. History-wise, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. History-wise, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're about to get up out of here. Bowtie Bill, before we get up out of here, man, tell the people, man, what we need. Man, everybody man. hit the subscribe button, the like buttons. You know, tell your family members and friends, send it to your uh, threads, your group threads, send it to the ones you like as well as the ones you don't like. And we just appre appreciate you following us, keeping up with us, listening to us, watching us. We just enjoy everything. Thank you. Yeah, man. It's been a, uh, a great ride, man, just seeing this thing grow and everything, doing it with my brother, man. But, yeah, we about to get up out of here, man. Man, I'm your host, man, Shot Time Neil. To my left, man, Bowtie Bill. Yes, sir. Man, Tell the Truth Podcast 23 catches on YouTube, man. You guys have a great day. Thank you. Peace.